the complaint that is before you that has been filed in court sets forth a series of uh, four different attacks over three separate dates in, th in four counties. Uh, and uh, this is the kind of case where that kind of collaboration is so important and so necessary for those reasons. Uh, the complaint, which charges the seven individuals named in the complaint with violating the Shepherd Bird Hate Crime Act and conspiring to do the same, obviously also strikes at the core of the notions of American freedom. This country uh, celebrates the notion that people are free to pray to whom, in whatever manner, and in whatever way they see fit. An investigation led by our local sheriff, Holmes County, Tim Zimmerle, uh, led to the identification and eventual arrest of those five men in Jefferson County. They currently face state felony charges of aggravated burglary and kidnapping. The investigation was ongoing. Our sheriff partnered with the sheriffs of Carroll County, uh, Sheriff Dale Williams, and the Sheriff of Jefferson County, um, Fred Abdallah, as well as the U.S. Attorney's Office, uh, represented by Steve Dettelbach, and the FBI. During the course of that investigation, we learned that there are additional defendants, there are additional victims, uh, and there are additional counties or multiple counties in which similar crimes have occurred. Uh, Sheriff Zimler and I recognize that at some point after discussing this matter with the U.S. Attorney's Office, justice would best be served and we would be more equipped to bring those responsible for these crimes to justice and see that they are punished to the full extent of the law if we allowed a federal prosecution to go forward. After I'd warned his son not to hurt his father, uh, and he ended up cutting his beard off and cutting his hair. Uh, when I saw the guy later, uh, he couldn't even look up to me. Uh, totally broken, heartbroken, because he thought he was coming down at the invitation. They lured him uh, into the county. Um, and the bishop in uh, Holmes County, I believe, was the same. You know, it has a great impact on him. And you've got Amish all over the state of Ohio right now, and Pennsylvania and Indiana, that are concerned. We received hundreds and hundreds of calls, people living in fear. They're buying mace. Some are sitting with shotguns getting locks on their doors because of Sam Mullet. And since I'm up at the mic, I'd like to say this. We cannot categorize all the Amish as we do Sam Mullet. Because I'm, as far as I'm concerned, he's not Amish. He dresses as Amish. And all these crimes that he's been involved in or had people uh, commit crimes for him, it's not the Amish way and it's not religion. Uh, just to reiterate what's in the release this morning, the FBI, Jefferson County Sheriff's Office, Holmes County Sheriff's Office, and United States Marshal Service arrested seven individuals arrested uh, based on a complaint filed in District Court, United States District Court in Youngstown, Ohio. Seven arrested, just to reiterate, Samuel Miller Sr., Johnny S. Mullen, Lester S. Mullen, Daniel S. Mullen, Emmanuel Schrock, Levi F. Miller, and Eli M. Miller. These seven individuals you can see in the release, have been charged with hate crimes, conspiracy, and aiding and abetting to commit these crimes due to their varying degrees of involvement in the forceful beard and hair cutting of multiple victims within the Amish community. A search warrant, warrant was also executed this morning at the residence of Samuel Mullet Sr. Prosecutor Nolan said this is, a, this is an ongoing investigation, so I'd please ask uh, that you understand that. We continue to investigate this matter. We'd ask that anyone that has information regarding these charges that are brought today or any other criminal activity by the individuals listed uh, or charged here today uh, that we need that information. And folks, come forward and contact, whether it be the FBI or the, law, the appropriate law enforcement agencies listed here today.